Hello everyone, welcome back to this video on digital communication. In this video, I am going to discuss the power spectral density of polar line encoding scheme. So in my previous video, I have already discussed about the power spectral density of unipolar line encoding scheme. I recommend you to watch that first because I might be taking some points from that video also. So if I talk about the power spectral density, so I'll be using again the wiener kinchin relationship. So according to the wiener kinchin relationship, the power spectral density is equal to 1 upon Tb, Sf square summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity, R tau n e raised to power minus j 2 pi Ft. So where Sf is my Fourier transform, Tb is my bit period and R tau is my autocorrelation function. So now if I talk about Sf, I have already derived Sf, it was equal to Tb sinc ftb so you can go watch my previous video to find out the derivation of sf so now if i talk about the autocorrelation function r tau n so now here if i talk about the polar line encoding scheme in polar line encoding 0 is represented by minus a and 1 is represented by a. So, 0 is represented by minus of some level and 1 is represented by plus of level. So I know, I hope you know what is polar line encoding scheme. So, now if I talk about this polar line encoding scheme and if I have to find out the autocorrelation function at n is equal to 0. So, which would be equal to r tau of 0. So, now it is given as e of a k into a k minus n. So now n is 0, which is equal to e of a k square. So now I should know what is a k at different values. So now if I talk about the polar line encoding, so let's suppose this is my first line and let's suppose this is my second line. So now when, so let's suppose these are at same time. So, I, it may be my mistake to draw it not on the same time, but if I talk, if I am talking about AK and AK, so this line is at the same point. So, now if I have to talk about AK and AK, the first possible combination would be both R1 and the second possible combination are both R0. So, it can never happen that 1 is 1 and second is 0 because it's the same thing I am copying. If it is 1, it should also be 1. If it is 0, it, it should also be 0. So now if I talk about AK. So if it is 0, it should also be 0. If, and if it is 1, it should also be 1. So now 0 is represented by minus a level and 1 is represented by a level. So, a k square would be a square and a square. Now, the probability of occurrence of 0 and the probability of occurrence of 1 would be half. So, now e would be e of a k square or r tau 0 is equal to a square by 2, a square into 1 by 2 which is a square by 2 plus a square by 2 which is equal to a square. So now I found out r tau at 0. So now let's suppose I have to multiply this a k with the shifted version. So now let's suppose this is the shifted version. So this is a k this is a k minus n. So now when I have to multiply these two r tau n when n is not equal to 0 would be there would be now which combinations either 0 is combined with 0. So here 0 is combined with 0 or 1 can combine with 0 or 0 can combine with 1 or 1 can combine with 1 you can see. So now here 0 is combining with 0, here 1 is combining with 0, here 1 is combining with 1 and here 0 is combining with 1. So, these four possibilities could be happening and these are represented by, 0 is represented by amplitude minus a 
and one is represented by amplitude a so i am just replacing the amplitudes so a k square would be a square minus a square minus a square a square and these all are equiprobable so i am taking their probabilities to be 1 by 4 so now e of a k into a k minus n would be given by a square into 1 by 4 which is a square by 4 minus a square by 4 minus a square by 4 plus a square by 4 which is equal to 0. So now r tau n is equal to a square when n is equal to 0 and it is 0 otherwise. So this is my r tau n. So now I will just put sf and r tau in my power spectral density wiener kinchin relationship. So the power spectral density is given by 1 upon Tb. Sf square would be Tb square sinc square f into Tb. Now which is multiplied with r tau n. So it is multiplied with a square. So now this and this would cancel out and I am left out with a square Tb sinc square f tb so now this is the power spectral density for polar line encoding so here you can see i don't have dc component so distortions in the signal would not be there so i can say this is better encoding than the previous unipolar line encoding so i'll conclude my session here if you still have any doubt you can put your doubt in the comment box and I try to resolve it as soon as possible. I hope you like this video. If you like it, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel and push the like button. Thank you.